will this coronavirus affect blacks and asian more than um white folks absolutely at the end of the day who are the people on the front line majority of the doctors nurses bus drivers uber drivers the people that work in the train station the cleaners security guard the people who are actually keeping the country going at this moment at this tragic moment are people from the black and asian community and it is just so sad you look at the news and 10 10 doctors that have passed away all 10 or from um from this community and until now the government is still trying to find ways and means of working out the logistics for these people to get the necessary wares just gloves um the ppe until now the uk government have failed I feel these people to give them what they need to be able to go out there and fight this invisible um, enemy. How can that? How can that be right? You look at the statistics that came through from um, from from even Chicago. Chicago, thirty percent of um, of people that live in Chicago are from this community, but yet still they account for eighty percent of the deaths. In the UK, the same thing. Three times, black and Asian, there are three times more accounting for those who have died from this virus. And when people talk about um, the coronavirus, we're we're in this together. It is a you know it's a great leveler. It's a load of baloney. We are not in this together. It is not a leveler. The people that the, the black people and Asian people would suffer more from this virus. We will suffer more. We are the one who is on the front line. <laughs> we are the one that is on the front line. And we are the same people who are living in this country. We have been told that we are not we are not wanted. Before all this came through, I remember I saw an article in the paper where Boris Johnson said that he's gonna make um he's gonna make this place very uncomfortable because he don't want us to feel as if this place is our home. But yet still, you see what came out came out today. He said, "Oh, he's gonna sank two of the nurses that stood beside his bedside for 48 hours non-stop. They were both foreigners. <laughs> they were both foreigners." It wasn't the millionaire people. It wasn't the millionaires and the billionaires who pump money into um, the the election. It was the same people who feel rejected.